trailblazers. I think it's about time to see what today's challenge is. Yeah. Who, who has the challenge? Hmm. Look under your hat. What? Whoa! Magic, magic, today's magic. Today's challenge. That's Man. magic for you. All right, let me read this. Learn to do something you weren't able to do before. Okay. You guys get a learning stuff? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's go. <laughs> All righty. All right, folks. Today, I'm going to learn how to juggle. Where are the balls, you may ask? Or what are the things I may juggle, you may ask? I'll show you. All right. I've never done this before, but it should be easy, right? Okay. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to build a little wooden ship. I have the directions, I have all my materials, and I'm just gonna kind of give it a go. I have a picture of what it's supposed to look like, but I'm, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna figure it out. I decided to teach myself to play the harmonica. I've seen people play the harmonica, like in old movies when they're in jail and then. <laughs> so how hard could it be? How hard could it be? How hard could it be? Glue hull G to the center of the deck at the bottom. We are off to a great start. Build and paint. Yeah. I would connect the bow A to the deck B using wood peg. Use the what? <laughs> This is a little bit harder than I expected. Maybe I should just start with one ball. Let's, let's, let's do that. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna try happy birthday. Yikes. This is gonna be really hard to paint after. I was supposed to paint it before starting it. a name? Well, traditionally, ships are referred to as she's. The first thing that came to my mind was Jerry, but I don't think that's what I'm gonna go with unless she's the Geraldine, which is pretty cool. Ger Geraldine, Jerry, Jerry the Swift. That's what we'll call her. Jerry the Swift. Who has her first masts raised? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, Learning something new isn't always easy. It can actually be pretty tough. <laughs> I wonder how the others are doing. But first, I think it's time to go on a Bible quest. We'll see you guys in a minute. Abby, this okay. challenge is awful. What? I hate messing things up, and this feels like that's all this is. Well, I mean, we're learning a new skill. Isn't that fun? I mean, maybe, but I wish I could do things I'm already good at. That would be so much easier. Hmm. You know, I think there's a character in our Bible quest that might know how you feel. Really? Yeah. You want to check it out? Let's do it. Let's go. 
Whoa, Technicolor, man. Joseph had 10 older brothers. 10. Life is tough. Ha, <laughs> not. This is the best. My brothers get to work while I get to sit around. My brothers have old, worn out clothes while my dad buys me the newest and best coats. And even God is talking to me. He sent me these dreams talking about how my family bows down to me. I almost forgot to tell my brothers. Joseph's brothers were not impressed at his dreams. Instead, they were angry. One day, they finally snapped. They stole Joseph's coat and threw him in a pit. Then, his brothers actually sold him to some travelers going by. Wow, they are so mean. Well, I guess I was mean to them too. I was bragging and acting like I was better than them. Hmm. Whoa! You know what? I've got a new job. I'm in Egypt now. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do my best for my boss, but mostly because it's what God would want me to do. Joseph did work hard. In fact, his boss soon trusted him to take care of everything he owned. Until one day, his boss thought Joseph did something very wrong. Uh, no I haven't. I haven't stolen anything or lied. His boss didn't believe Joseph. He was sent straight to jail. Uh. Oh man, I didn't even do anything. I wonder if God still has a plan, even now. God did have a plan. Years later, Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, had a dream. A dream that scared him badly. And he heard that Joseph could tell people what their dreams meant. Oh wow, Pharaoh. That was quite a dream. And it's a message from God too. Basically, he's telling us that something will happen in the future. For seven years, life will be good. Tons of food. But then for seven years, there will be nothing at all. No food will grow. We've got a plan ahead. Pharaoh liked Joseph. Suddenly, Joseph was made Pharaoh's second in command. He went from being in jail to being a kind of king. That was sudden. <laughs> the food ran out, and people everywhere needed help. But with God's help, Joseph was prepared. Grain for you. Grain for you. Grain for... Hold on. My brothers! Joseph's brothers had come all the way to Egypt for help. They didn't even recognize Joseph. He could have hurt them or gotten revenge, but... I've learned so much. Maybe before I would have done something mean to them, but even though life gets tough, I've learned that God has a plan for me. He's helped me, and now I want to help them. Joseph forgave his brothers, and finally his family was reunited. So, Joseph became second in command in Egypt? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I know, and we can learn a lot from this story. Like what? Well, Joseph didn't just wake up one day and everything was perfect. He had it really tough. Even after he became second in command to Pharaoh, he still went through a lot of challenges and tough times. And before that, he fought with his brothers and was sold into slavery and was accused of something he didn't even do and went to jail for it. There were a lot of opportunities for Joseph to feel like a failure. Oh, but whenever he did something wrong or life got tough, he learned from it. Right, yeah, and that's what we can learn from Joseph, is that we don't need to get angry or blame others when things go wrong. We can take it as an opportunity to learn something. And that's what I want you to learn today. We can see mistakes as chances to learn. Learning anything almost always means trying and failing. I guess you're right. Like, it took me a while to learn how to shoot a basketball, and I had to learn how to read. Right. And when I was little, I even had to learn how to walk. Yeah, exactly. And, and I'm sure you missed a lot of baskets and fell down and made a lot of mistakes, but that's all a part of learning. So, speaking of which, you ready to keep learning how to juggle? Definitely. Let's go.
welcome back. So what did you guys try today? Well, I tried to juggle. Cool, how'd it go? Well, I failed a lot, but that means I learned a lot? Yeah. Think so? I tried to juggle two balls, but that didn't really work out. But I can juggle two balls. There you go. You wanna see? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Whoa, that was Juggling. pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> what did you do? Um, well, I tried to learn the harmonica. Have you seen those old Western movies where they're sitting around the campfire or in jail and they're just like, and they sound super good? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Turns out the harmonica is actually a lot harder than what I thought it was. But I did learn this. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna keep practicing. <laughs> what about you? What did you try? I tried to make a boat. Ooh. Um, her name is the Geraldine. Wow. Which is on the back here. Geraldine. Geraldine, nicknamed Jerry for short. But I was supposed to paint it before I glued it together and I was supposed to use glue, but I didn't paint it and the glue didn't work, so I used tape. And it would definitely sink if it were put in any water. <laughs> Man, we tried some fun things today. <laughs> and I think we also learned a lot too. Sometimes we make mistakes or we fail or it doesn't quite turn out the way we want it to, but every time we try, we still learn a lot. And I think that's really cool. <laughs> Let's remember that this week and I'll see you guys next time for some more trailblazers. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm gonna keep practicing. Me too. Whoa. Get some more paint or something. Whoa, guys, look, I'm doing it. <laughs>